Hello, first and foremost, we we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Hey, this is GMS Arkansas. GMS, stop and listen. Preach your cow. Coming with a, a short lesson, man. Um, on, um, I was pondering how people, um, really don't study the scriptures you know you got two thirds out there and uh we are here to break down these strongholds okay and one of the strongholds i just want to um go through right now is that the people have this misconception that 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 yahweh shy whom you ignorantly call jesus right and the heavenly father who you call god who you eagerly call god is yahweh okay Yahweh, is, is he is this? And Yahweh shy is he deliver? He's the deliverer. Okay. So like it. The stronghold I want to go through now is people believing that the Son and the Father are the same person. Okay. And that's not true. They are two different entities. Okay. And when you go through the scriptures, right? When you go through them, uh, Thoroughly, you you if it's for you to understand, you'll understand that they are not the same person. Okay, this is a stronghold that's been pushed out there. When you hear the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, you think it's all one person. When meaning they are all in one like mind. Okay, in this particular time, we have different men that wake up. They're in that one like mind of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, we are not the Heavenly Father. But through his words, which is the spirit, pursuing to John 6, 63, we, we are in that one like mind and one accordance to this word. Okay. Now, this is uh, 2 Timothy. I'm we'll starting 2 Timothy 2 and 15. And it says, study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. Rightly dividing that word of truth, or 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 thought to me to cut to cut straight to cut straight ways to proceed on straight path to hold a straight course, okay. To make straight and smooth to handle aright to teach the truth directly and correctly, so you must teach this truth directly and correctly, okay. So we're going to teach it correctly and directly. Hey, this stronghold of the Lord and his son being the same person, that's not correct. We're going to show you the correct way. Right? All right. Now, you go to the book of uh, Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, who have ascended up into the heaven, okay, and who have descended, who have gathered the wind in his fist, and who have bound the waters in a garment, question, okay, who is established, who has established all the ends of the earth, okay, the heavenly father, Yahweh, the most high, what is his name, and what is his son's name? If thou can tell. So we know this is talking about the, 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 the Most High Yahweh. Because it said, what is his name and what is his son's name? Okay. That's a separation right there. It's two different entities, okay. It said, what is his name and what is, is his son's name? If thou can tell. Okay. If you could, if you could perceive it. If you can discern what it's saying right here, okay. He who had ears to hear, let him hear. Okay. Now let's go to the book of Daniel because we're gonna deal. It's two different entities, so let's find out who the one entity is. Okay. Daniel seven and nine. And I beheld to the thrones were cast down. I beheld, meaning what? He saw a vision. 
to the thrones were cast down, dealing with the wet kingdoms of the earth. All right. The Ancient of Days did sit. Okay. The Ancient of Days, meaning what? Ancient of Days. Ancient. Aged. Okay. Ancient. 62, 67. Let's see what that says. Old, ancient, meaning what? No beginning or no end. Okay. He did sit whose garments was white as snow, and his hair of his head was like the pure wool. Okay, so his hair was like pure wool. Okay, who has pure wool hair on the planet? We know to be the Israelites, okay? In particular, the tribe of Judah. And his throne was like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning, his wheels was as burning fires, man. Okay. His wheels, man. The Lord Yahweh have what he have on the left hand, the right hand side, he have angels, right, that do the his bidding. Okay. You go into wheels, it goes into Ezekiel, wheel inside the wheel. It explains how the angels look and how they move about. Okay. Alright. It tells you in Hebrews, I think it's uh I want to say it's thirteen. 29 that the spirit of the Lord is a consuming fire right and he just said his throne is like a fiery flame okay this is the ancient of days this is the heavenly father right with no no beginning and no end okay now let's go to the book of revelations okay and if you didn't understand that right there play it back listen again Okay, now this is Revelations 1 and 8, and it says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, said the Lord. <clears throat> okay, now this Lord is talking about who? This is talking about his son. Because for one, you look at the word, it's not in ca all caps. Okay, when you go back to all caps, it goes back the first time the name of the Lord was in all caps, who was the Heavenly Father, was in Genesis, the uh, second chapter, in the seventh verse. Now, when you're in Revelations right here, if you look, this is um, uh, in red, man. So we know this is the Son speaking, okay? This is who the world calls Jesus, but we know his name to be, what, Yahweh Shai, all right? It says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha is the Greek word. For what beginning? That's what it should say. Alpha. Okay, the first letter in the Greek alphabet, it says Yahweh Shai is the Alpha to indicate that He is the beginning and the end. Okay. Okay, He's telling you, I have a beginning because He was created by the Heavenly Father and He got an end. Omega. Okay. Omega. Omega. The last letter in the Greek alphabet, the last, right? So the end, okay? So the Lord is telling you, Yahweh Shai is telling you that he had a beginning and an end, okay? And, and through him, it says, let me read that again. I am the Alpha and the Omega and the beginning and the end, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty, which is to come, okay? It says, which is to come, a person is to come from one place to another. Where he's going to come from? He's going to come from the, from the throne, from the heavens, okay? To appear, to make one appearance, to come before the public, metaphorically to come into being, arise, to come forth. To show itself to find place or influence to be established. Who what is he gonna establish? He's gonna establish his kingdom, he's gonna establish his words back in the earth in righteousness, man. Because through him is gonna come salvation, okay? Through him is gonna come salvation. That's why when you read in uh Corinthians, I think it's the fifteenth chapter, it's he's called that second Adam, okay? You know? 
So the Heavenly Father has no beginning and end. He's the ancient of days, right? And, and Yahweh Shai said, I have a beginning and an ending. So how could these two people be the same person, okay? How could they be the same, all right? Understand? Hey, these are strongholds, man, because people believe that they are the same. It's, they, they, that's that's so-called, uh, uh, these so-called Christians, man. They believe hook, line, and sinker that the Heavenly Father and His Son is the same person, and they're not. That's two different entities. One has no beginning. It just told you he has no beginning. Then he told you uh, he, he he bound the the the, the uh, bound the, the uh, he bound everything with his fist. The wind with his fist. He establishes it ends of the, ends of the uh, earth. What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you can tell? Okay. Now, after reading those three scriptures, can you tell this? Are you dividing, rightly dividing the word of truth? Okay. I'm going to get another one. If I may, my book shop, allow me. Psalms. Brothers know what I'm going for. Psalms 110. Psalms 110 and 1. The Psalm of David. Right? The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies my footstool. So David is saying in the spirit. Okay? Okay? Now look at the name right there. Psalm of David. It says, Through the Lord. Okay? It's all caps. Okay? It's all caps. Now, we'll look up that word. See, right there, the original. Yahweh. Those four letters, man. Okay, the existing one, the proper name of the true true God. Okay? When you see those other names like Jehovah, that's a throw off. Okay? That's a stumbling block. Okay? That's a stumbling block. But the elect are going to... They're going to uh, rightly divide this word of truth, okay? So the name is Yahweh. Said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand, okay? Sit thou at my right hand. This is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay? Said to my Lord, see, as lowercase, okay? This is the Son, Yahweh Shai. This is the Father talking to the Son. Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Okay, and this prophecy is what this prophecy is. This prophecy, uh, basically, it hasn't been fulfilled yet. So the the spirit of prophecy, the book, the whole book of the Bible is a spirit of prophecy. That's why you got people be talking about. Oh, we just don't. We you know, only gonna use the Old Testament. We don't use the Old Testament. We only use the New Testament. The whole book is dealing with prophecy. This is a prophecy right now that still has to come. Because who the enemies are, are the Adawamium, the Edomites, and, and the, and the uh, Gawayim, which are the other nations. Okay? They are on top of us right now. They the head and we the tail. The nation of Israel is not the head right now. So this is a prophecy, man. Okay? And then what's heavy about it, who was David's son? The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand. Okay. His son was Solomon. Okay, if you can receive it. All right. All right. So it says when you when you make thy enemy, if you're a footstool, that means you're a, a, a slave, man. Okay. If you're a footstool. All right. They're going to be our slaves through Yahweh Bashem and Hashem. Because there's a picture out there. It's an old picture of Esau using a, a little Israelite Jake. You all have always seen when you see the slavery pictures. It's always a little picture of Esau using a little young Jake as a footstool, man. Okay? And that lets you know that's, that's captivity. 
So the Lord said, I'm going to make thy enemies thy footstool. So he's telling us in the scriptures, right, that he's going to let our enemies, they're going to be under us, be in subjection, and they're going to be slaves, man. Okay? So it's beautiful, man. It's a prophecy that hasn't happened yet. All right? Uh, let's see here. Let's go to... 16, 27, 26, John 16, and 27, for the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I come from the Most High Yahweh, see, who we, who, how was I talking to right here? He's speaking to his disciples, man. He's talking about, he said, look. He said, for the Father. He ain't saying myself. He said, the Father, he's talking about Yahweh. So he letting you, it's a clear distinction right here. The Lord is talking about for the Father himself. Love of you because ye have loved me. It's, this is in red. So this is Yahweh Shah talking. He telling them the Father. Okay. Because ye have come and loved me. And have believed that I came out. Right? He said, I came out. So how could it be the same? He came out from the Father. Okay? How can that be the same person? Verse 28. I came forth from the Father. Came forth. Let's look at that word. Came forth. Exer come coma. Exer coma. To go or come forth. Place out of which one goes of the point which he departs, because he was on the he was he departs from the, with the throne. Because he was sitting at the right hand side of the Father. Of those who leave their place, or their own accord, of those who are expelled metaphorically to go out of an assembly. Uh, let's see. To come out from, physically arise from, to be born of. God. He was the first soul created. His only begotten son. Okay. Ain't that what he told? Uh, uh, he told, I think, when the, I want to say the transfiguration. He told him the only begotten son. And he told the disciples as well, I want to say, his only begotten son. He told him a couple times. Let's, let's type that in and see can I find that. Only begotten son. John 118, no man have seen the most high at the time, and the only begotten Son, which is in thy bosom of thy father, he has declared him. Okay. Only begotten son, John 3:16. For the most high so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that world is 2889, which is a cosmos, which is an oily arrangement <coughs> governed by law, statutes, and commandments, which is talking about the Israelites. Because when John 3, we go into 15, it talks about the brazen serpent, which, which Moses raised up, and which is dealing with the children of Israel in the wilderness. That's what the scripture goes back to. So this is not talking about the whole, everybody is talking about the nation of Israel. And it's talking about the elect. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And it's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. It's not talking about everybody, okay? All right. It says, John 3 and 18, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed. In the name of the only begotten Son, which is Yahweh, shy of the Most High. See, 
You have believed in the name of the only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's heavy, man. So when you read, it says, I came forth from my, from my father, John 6 and 28, and I am come into the world again. So did he say, like, he, he is him? No. He's telling he came from him. He came forth from him. He's basically born from of him, created by him, okay? It says, I leave the, he says, again, let me see, let me read that again. I came forth from the Father, and I am come unto the world again. I leave the world and go to the Father. See, he was telling them, I'm going to leave here and go back with my Father. He, he's, he, they're not the same person, okay? All right? They're not the same. They're not the same person. They're two different people. Now, it's more scriptures I could get. I'm, I'm, hey, that's just, hey, it's edifying. Uh, you know, precept must be on my precept, precept on precept, line up on line, line up on line, man. So, hey, man, if you hit, you get, you hit somebody with like four scriptures to edify, they don't understand, then, hey, hey, if you don't understand, then the Lord probably is not dealing with you, okay? Because it's, hey, this is rightly dividing the word of truth, and there are many more scriptures that you can get. You can go into uh, uh, the prayer of John, the 17th chapter, okay? It, it, there, there are many more scriptures you can get, okay, on that on that situation, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope this was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha Kudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is GMS Arkansas, GMS Stop and Listen, Brother Preacher Cal. Hey, to the next time, Ba Ba Ba, Ba Ba Ba, Hey, Shalom.